Hi, Shell Point. I'm Jeff Corey from the Legacy Foundation, joined today by Rachel Shad, who's a funeral director with Harvey Englehart. Thank you for being with us here today, Rachel. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Great. We're going to be talking a little bit about an upcoming seminar academy program we have here at Shell Point on Wednesday, June 17th, um, talking about final wishes. And it's something that we always talk to our residents about making final arrangements, but it's one of those things that easy to procrastinate. Um, but it'll be a very informative time. I appreciate your being here today. Absolutely. So tell us, what are some of the benefits for our residents to make final arrangements to prepare for the inevitable? Well, there are a lot of benefits to, to looking ahead uh, that range from financial advantage um, to helping your family members uh, from having to make a lot of difficult decisions at the time. Uh, it also helps you to make certain that you're getting your final wishes met because they're documented and written down. Uh, so as we go through the seminar next week, we'll be covering all those different advantages, um, mainly if you're pre-planning and you're, you're pre-funding your arrangements, even if you're not using them for a great number of years, if the cost goes up, uh, your family isn't charged any different because it's, it's a guaranteed price. And then it also saves them from having to answer a whole lot of questions during a very stressful time because we would have it all recorded in a file and just be able to pull that right out at any time, any day. And, and kind of that way we can lead the family through the arrangement more than us having to try to prod them to figure out sure. what they want to do. Okay, so if I'm a resident, I think, okay, now's the time for me to make my arrangements and I come down and visit with you. What kind of information are you looking for? What kind of documents do I need to bring with me to, to help in the planning process? Well, no matter what type of arrangements that you want to have for yourself, um, every single person has to have some vital statistic information. Um, this is what the health department requires upon uh, the death of any person. So that would be things like a social security number, mother's maiden name. Um, a lot of times people will have a birth certificate that has the city and state of birth. Um, veterans, it's very important for them to have their uh, DD-214 and their discharge paperwork so that the director can assist them with any kind of veterans benefits and we'll walk the family through that as well. So those kind of documents are, are very helpful. Okay. I know sometimes we meet with residents that have maybe made plans or they have a cemetery up north or they know that they're going somewhere else mm -hmm. and you work with funeral homes up north to coordinate the process again you know when that time comes tell us a little bit about how that works if someone maybe has you know plans to go back up north how does it how does it work with you at that time sure we work with uh, any funeral home uh, we even do international um, arrangements uh, at, at certain points in time but it's helpful for us to have the contact information of the preferred funeral home if a family is struggling to find a funeral home out of state, they don't really know exactly who they want to work with, we can help to uh, get an affiliate or, or help get a reputable uh, funeral home that we can work with um, at that time as well. So that's a good thing to have planned out ahead of time as well, because it's another thing that saves the family from scrambling to try to figure right. all of that out. So cemetery paperwork, if there are plots and locations and, and uh, exact coordinates of that it's helpful to have because a lot of times when we call to set all of that up they're looking for that or if it was originally purchased under a different uh, name like a, a mother's name or something like that sure. we would need to have that okay so i mean there's the options now you know lots of things with traditional burial versus a cremation mm -hmm. um, i assume you have people that come down to see you that don't necessarily know which way they want to go or is it something that um, you help people through thinking through that process. Absolutely. I mean, sometimes pre-planning isn't even a matter of getting everything finalized. It's more of just a um, sort of an investigative meeting just to figure out how things work and what the expectations are, what's legally required versus what's optional. So we have a lot of literature and things just to help work through all those options. And sometimes it's good to get that then go back with the family members and, and talk it over and just figure out what's important to each individual. Sure. And you always at our seminars talk about veterans benefits. I think that's something you'll be mentioning as well. There's there's some things that our veterans can can benefit from as well. Absolutely. We, we strive a lot to uh, take very good care of our veterans. We do appreciate their service and 
realizing that uh, we are very close to the Sarasota National Cemetery, although we would coordinate a burial of ashes or a casket at any uh, national cemetery in the country, we like to be there to help our veterans understand what's available to them, what's covered and cost-wise with that. Um, also for the veteran spouses and the, any dependent children that they have, we help uh, get all of that set up. So we like to let people be aware that those options exist because uh, at one time we were very surprised when we would speak with our veterans' families and realize that they didn't really know what was available to them. So it's very important to get that information out. Great, no, Harvey Englehart's been around for how many years? Oh goodness, since the early 1900s. The early 1900s. I know we, our residents have worked with your uh, company for many, many years. Mm -hmm. You do a fantastic job. Your seminar is always very informative. Uh, what's the one thing that our residents will learn when they, when they come to the seminar next Wednesday that you hope they walk away with? And, and well, I hope that they walk away with uh, realizing that we're not all scary funeral directors. <laughs> yeah. We're pretty friendly, we're pretty approachable, and uh, we at Harvey Englehart, we're really just there to be educators. Uh, so what we really want to do is just help people figure out what's important to them and figure out how to tailor that together so that it's all organized, you can set it up, put it in a file, forget about it, right. and then just know that we'll, we'll take care of it. So it doesn't have to be a scary or an intimidating thing. It can be very laid back, very casual, and just it's all about just getting things written down, that's all. Right, well, thank you for joining us today, Rachel. I appreciate having you here. Residents, you won't wanna miss this Academy program on June 17th, the Grand Cypress Room at 10 o'clock. Rachel will be there uh, to provide an informative uh, session about uh, pre-planning, uh, making sure your final wishes are in place for you. So please join us then. Thank you.